Okay, today we're going to talk about how to use connecting blocks to model regrouping with two digit numbers. So what I have here is a pile of blocks. And what I would do is show the students that here I have 18 blocks. But there has to be a better way to be able to count this instead of having to count each individual block one at a time. So how we do that is we regroup. And the concept of regrouping is taking 10 ones to make one 10. So here I would use the blocks to show the students that if I combine one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, I have one ten. And then I have a remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blocks. I use the 10 frame to show that we don't have 10 blocks to make another 10. So then I would ask the students, do I have a different number now that I have combined these in a different way? Most of the time their first reaction will be, yes, you do. But by showing them that you combine them and you can quickly count them as 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, they can visualize and see that they still have the same number, just in a way that's easier for them to count. So a quick way to be able to use these, to be able to count or add using two digit numbers, we could use this 10 frame in this little place value map and show them that I have 18 plus, let's say we have another 12. So we'd get enough to make one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Most students at this point know that to, you have to fill a 10 frame to make 10. So a good way to show them how to add this would be that I have 10 plus 8 is 18, and I have a 10 plus 2 is 12. So I have 18 plus 12. So by moving these two blocks up to this 10 frame, I now have enough to regroup and make another 10. So if I combine these, I can replace those ones with another 10. And then they can simply count that they have 10, 20, 30, using the strategy of counting by tens, making it easier to understand how to add two-digit numbers by regrouping.